So we're on our way to watch the Rangers play this summer. And actually a couple of months ago, I signed up my son for the Junior Rangers Club. And it was definitely worth it. If you're thinking about it or don't know what it is, you basically sign up online and for $25 plus shipping, they'll send you a package with kids Rangers gear, a lanyard, which you can show at the Grand Slam store and that'll give, get you 15% off your purchases. And then they'll also email you with a code for four free tickets plus discounts off any additional tickets for another game. Just make sure you do it within time because it did take a while to get here. So yeah, we're gonna watch three out of four games in the series versus the Angels and we're gonna sit in different sections. So here are some tips if you're planning on visiting Globe Life Field with your family. So the first day we spent our morning traveling and actually the days before we went to SeaWorld. So we were so tired that we didn't even wake up as early as we wanted to. But obviously try to time your driving to avoid heavy traffic even though you'll probably still run into some, especially if you're driving through San Antonio or Austin. So as soon as we were done unloading our things, we took off for the park. All three days we parked in parking lot M. It's $15, a 10 minute walk, but if you don't wanna walk, there's little shuttles that go around asking you if you wanna ride. They're free and at the end you just tip whatever you want. So you could either do that or obviously purchase parking tickets to a lot that's closer and actually when you're buying your tickets online it asks you in the end if you want to purchase a parking ticket and it gives you lots of options and even shows you a map of where each lot is so you can pick from there it's really easy and that way you have everything ready to go before the game and you're not worrying about where to park the day of Because we arrived when the gates opened, we really didn't have time to do much before the game started. It was really hectic, we didn't know where our seats were, and then we made the mistake of splitting up. My husband went on the elevator and I went up the escalator and also to get food. And then I realized I left my phone in the stroller. So we got lost and I had to borrow a nice employee's phone. So just learn from us, find your seats first, get situated, then go get snacks or you can also order on the ballpark app which is a cool feature you could order hot dogs nachos drinks and beer i just didn't see any specialty items like bahama bucks pluckers anything with brisket i didn't see that it's still an awesome option and especially if you don't want to miss the game or you have kids and you don't want to go up and down the stairs This was our view in the 300 section and it was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We chose seats in front of the Jumbotron but also not all the way down in front of the fence. I just didn't want our view to be obstructed so we chose a few rows back. I also forgot to mention that you could bring a water bottle per person as long as it's not flavored and I, we also were able to bring snacks for our toddler. Make sure it's in a clear plastic bag or a Ziploc bag and I brought things like cheese sticks, yogurt, and chips. So the next day we decided to get to the park really early. Our game actually started at seven and we got there at 2.30 and we parked in front of the Grand Slam store. So if you do have time to do this, I do recommend it. We got to shop while it wasn't really packed. Actually, there was really no one in the store. If you go during the game, chances are you're probably gonna step on someone, someone's gonna elbow you accidentally, and you can't really shop in peace. So I'm glad we did that. We also got to take pictures in front of signs and in front of places where there's usually a lot of people or people are taking pictures and you have to wait in line. So after checking out at the Grand Slam store, we got our ticket validated for the parking. And while my husband moved our truck to parking lot M, 
we ordered lunch at Texas Live and we waited for him to walk back. I didn't want to pack a lot and I only took one pack of wipes and one diaper which was enough for us but I wanted to mention that inside the park they have little rooms sponsored by Hello Bello. They were so helpful to us because not only do they have changing tables, they have a rocking chair inside but if you do forget to pack diapers or wipes or you need more they actually offer some inside there. So they were really easy to find and if you can find a room just ask an employee and I'm sure they'll help you. kids playground is near section 238 but I did want to mention that before the game up until the fourth inning they only do batting practice or kids batting practice they don't let them run free until after the fourth inning We won the third game, but we lost the series against the Angels. Regardless, we had tons of fun, and we were so happy to watch the Rangers play live at the new field. Our favorite seats out of the three were in section 213, and we sat at the last row, and we actually got to leave our stroller behind us without having to collapse it under our seats. It was really easy to stand up and get snacks and come back, and we really weren't in the way of anybody. After the game, we took a walk behind Texas Live, then passed a bridge as we walked back to our parking lot. So I hope this video helps and I hope that you have fun on your visit to Globe Live Field.